A group of ferrets is referred to as a business, and Miyagi's kind of like the CEO. They all just know he's in charge. They all wrestle and he just pins them every time. We adopted Mr. Miyagi and I loved him immediately. Once I had this little life in my hand, I realized how much I was responsible for him. Miyagi and Bandit became best friends. They slept together and played together. We found Chloe, she was being kept in a dog crate. We immediately found out that she was incredibly spunky. Chloe and Miyagi were two peas in a pod. Banana was a very strong personality. They started to have interactions and we got our first taste of conflict. But at the end of the day, they all end up sleeping in a pile. Unfortunately, Bandit and Banana got really sick all of a sudden. When they passed, Chloe and Miyagi were different somehow. Chloe really needed Miyagi, and Miyagi was depressed. He was more lethargic. She really wanted a lot of play, a lot of interaction. She missed her playmate. A fellow animal rescuer reached out to me and said, there's these three ferrets that are in need of a home. Yeah. Maybe we can foster them. That's a lot to have five parents. They're so sensitive. They need a lot of attention and love. Two of them were suffering from adrenal disease. We had the best environment to rehab the ferrets. I saw just how many people get ferrets and then don't want them anymore. And that's how our family expanded to five. When the three ferrets came into the equation, they pretty much turned everything around. They're just more playmates. They definitely just had more interaction socially, which is what they need. They all get along. They sleep in a pile every day. It makes life more enjoyable for them. When Miyagi's exploring, they'll like watch him and follow him. He's kind of established his leadership with the rest of our ferrets. Miyagi's very independent. He definitely loves to steal things. She loves to play with the other ferrets. She gets into all sorts of stuff. She's always next to you. She'll follow you everywhere you go. She's got a lot of personality. Tiny and Chloe, they're the ones who are the most active. It's Alexander and Tiny got treated for adrenal disease. They love to explore and what they'll do is they take turns following each other. They'll run around into mischief. We decided to adopt Gordy when we moved into our house now. We facilitate the introductions. They play inside these dryer vent tubes. It's kind of like peekaboo. All the ferrets get along great with Gordy now. He has a basket of toys and we find them in their cage constantly. They've discovered Gordy's dog bowl, so they love drinking out of there, even though it's our huge stretch for them to reach. Oh, why do you have ferrets? They're a lot deeper than they say. They have a lot of spirit. We love them. They improve our lives. 